Hello everyone. How's it going? Welcome along. Welcome. My name's Luke. We're going to play some Elden Ring today. What are we looking at? Well, we're looking at the title screen, which is not what we should be looking at, to be honest. That's not what I'm seeing. Oh no. We already have our first technical woe. Let me try and sort it out. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. <laughs> That's so weird. What an odd glitch. <laughs> Can you, like, hear music? Can you hear, like, the title screen music? Is it going, like... That's so odd. Alright, give me a sec. Bum, bum. Why is every Elden Ring stream cursed in this way? Ha! There you go. Right. There we go. Sorry about that. Good. Now everything all right? Okay, good. Well, then let's start the stream proper. Hello, folks. Look. Look at Ray Sunshine. Look at him. He's been in this position since I broke the news to him. They only bloody went and patched it, didn't they? Everyone was having fun with Elden Ring. Everyone was playing with their fun, exciting, overpowered weapons. Folks were saying, hey, this isn't so hard. Look at all these cool weapons and cool moves and powerful abilities. And then they went and patched it, didn't they? They went and nerfed a load of weapons! And I haven't been able to move Ray out of this position. So what I'm hoping, not to make it too pantomime, is that a like spike might bring Ray out of his funk. And then we can explain what happened. Oh, congratulations, someone in the uh, Oxbox group. Smashing the shard bearer. Nice one. All right. Hit that like button. And we'll see if we can cheer Ray up. And then I'll tell you all about the weapons that uh, I've been favouring. It's not actually that bad. But I'm taking it as an opportunity to audition some new weapons. Let me see those likes. Do it for Ray. Do it to bring him out of his misery. What are we on? 279 it's shown for me at the moment. I'm going to need 400. Ray's going to need 400. 355, we're nearly there. Keep going, folks. Keep hitting that like button. You can do it. 378. 378. I can, I can feel it. Ray is, Ray's perking up a little bit. <gasps> 413. There it is. Okay, we did it. We cheered up Ray. Ray, Ray, it's okay. The nice viewers showed up. And they're here to, to, he to cheer you up and to make you feel better. Okay, folks. All right, let's play some Elden Ring. Okay, right. Here's the story, then. So, um... Uh, so they just released a patch to the game today uh, and they sort of rebalanced um, a load of stuff. One of the most powerful weapons in the game that has been like really significantly nerfed is the Sword of Night and Flame. Luckily, that's not the one that, uh, that I have been using. But um, the weapon that I am using, which is uh, this wicked cool katana called Moonvale wasn't named in the patch notes but people have done a little digging and they think that it has been a little bit changed let me show you that let me show you this cool sword if you're not playing Elden Ring or if you're not familiar um, it's really 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 sweet weapon um, oh something killed these goats we may never know what 
The reason this weapon is so cool is because it has this like bonkers powerful skill that uh, that goes like this. It's like a cool cutting slash and then this more powerful heavy one. Like, oh, hang on. No, need to top up the old magic before I can do that. There we go. Like this. Bam! Like that. And that did unbelievable posture damage. Uh, so you could sort of like stun and confuse and baffle almost any every enemy. Look at that. I mean, just look at that. Uh, almost every enemy. Um, it was super useful in boss fights and even more useful when you're just kind of pootling around fighting sort of regular enemies. Um, the weapon, if you can have a look at it, I've upgraded mine to plus seven. Also causes blood loss buildup, which is so brilliant because it means that every so often when you've been doing your attacks, um, uh, you will kind of proc a, a, a massive bit of HP damage, um, which is really cool. Uh, and, and it's just generally um, really, really fun because it's so quick. Check it out. I've been really enjoying it. I'll, t I'll, I'll talk you through my weapon journey so far. Assuming that any... Oh my gosh. Well, who did that? Fess up. Show you... Oh my... Right, you, right that's it. You mess with the bull. You're getting the horns. That item can wait. That item can wait, folks. Whoa. Okay. Oh, we got an interested party here. Bam. That's what I think of you. That's what Moonvale thinks. Chop. And chop. Look at that. So cool. So quick. I mean, these, obviously, these enemies aren't, like, super... Dark. Dude, stop firing. The war is over. You lost. Okay. Give it up. Honestly. Whoa. All right. Oh dear. Someone didn't get the memo. Someone hasn't been checking their emails and they didn't get the memo. Can I backstab you? Seems like I should be able to, but oh, hello. All right, all right. Okay, well, right. So look, let me do this because you've got a shield. Oh, well, you just died anyway. So Moonvale is like super good, right? But that heavy attack, uh, they have altered how powerful it is. It used to be like bonkers strong and now it is only medium strong. Uh, so the question is, is this an opportunity for old Ray to uh, swap out, use a new sword? You know, maybe, maybe. Um, all right, is anyone gonna shoot me if I just stand here and chill out and I think we're good. Okay, so. So, all right, here's the weapon journey that I've been on so far in the game. Uh, I started out with the S-Doc, but I quickly swapped that out for... Um, where's the dismounter? There it is. I was using this for a bit. I can't wield it now, because... Uh, there you go. It looks pretty cool, right? It took me a while to pick this one up, and what I was doing was... Um, uh, popping a, a magic buff, Scholar's Armament, on this. Uh, then I swapped it out for... The Claymore, because obviously I have such fondness for the Claymore. Um, although, where is it? There it is. The Heavy Claymore. I got this to plus 16, you know. So I, I and, and I, you know, skewed it to Heavy. Because um, I was, you know, putting so much in strength. Uh, can I show you what this looked like? There we go. So this bad boy um, was kind of my workhorse weapon. Um... And, you know, it's super good. Like, the Claymore's always been good in the Souls games, and I was super, like, nostalgic for it. Um, you know. Got a, there you go. Got a cool Ash of War on it. it, it and because it's heavy, it hits it, hit, it hits really hard, but it's also, like, pretty quick, right? So it's good. It was a very, very good sword. But I knew all along that... Um, that play more with Claymore, says Sergeant Boucherie in the chat. Yeah, absolutely. But I knew all along... Uh, that I was, what I was really like looking for was the sword that's been in all the games, sometimes as an Easter egg and sometimes as an actual weapon you can wield. Uh, the Dark Moon Greatsword is what it's called in this game. Um, I won't tell you how I got it because I guess it's kind of a spoiler, but I'm going to now show you that weapon. So if that's too much of a spoiler, then you know tune off, tune out now. But I. 
thing is like we're just looking at a weapon. I mean, we've got to, right? Because I'm auditioning new weapons, and I need weapons that are basically magic-focused. Because if you have a look at my build, here we go. You see, I've got 50 in, in intelligence. I've really prioritized intelligence. So I need things that scale with uh, intelligence and that hit hard based on having a high intelligence. Um, strength and dexterity. I've got dexterity 30, strength 17. They used to be the other way around uh, when I was using the Claymore. And when I started using Moonveil, which is more of a dexterity weapon, uh, I respect, kept everything the same, but just swapped dexterity and strength around. Um, so that I was getting sort of more benefit uh, numbers-wise from Moonvale. But I'm not averse to switching back if I find a weapon that I really love that is more strength-focused. And one of them is... Here we go. Um, ba -ba -da -ba 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 Look at this. The Dark Moon Greatsword. It is so gorgeous. I was thrilled when I got this. I thought I had found my forever weapon. I really thought that was it. But you know what, folks? I don't know what to tell you. It just didn't feel good to me to use. There was just something... It just didn't, it didn't have the kind of weighty smack of the Claymore. It also doesn't have the reach. It's a bit shorter. Uh, and it didn't have that kind of immediate slicey violence um, of Moonvale. So, although it is undoubtedly the best-looking weapon in the game... Um, I kind of... I kind of went off it. But, now that Moonvale's been nerfed a little bit, I want to put it back in the running. Maybe I didn't give it enough of a chance. Look, it's got this cool skill where you hoist it aloft. It becomes imbued with frosty magic. And then it glows awesomely and shoots off cool beams. Like this. Like that. Yeah, where's your precious pots now? Yeah, that's right. I'm wrecking up the camp. Ray Sunshine is... Ray Sunshine is wrecking the place. Can I find? Can I find just a? Oh, here! Oh, here we go! Oh, look, hang on. Let's 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 try and kill this pumpkin head. Boom! So as you can see, it's strong. Obviously, I've upgraded it a lot, but it's doing it's doing like real spicy damage. Um, but there's just something about the fe oh, okay. <laughs> smacked out of the air. It's a bit slow. The reach isn't quite there, and it just doesn't feel. So good. This weapon skill, by the way, also gets it like a um, like a numbers buff. You can see. Look at look at the absolutely ludicrous uh, bonus that it's getting there. Two hundred and fifty nine. Um. Uh. You know, plus the two hundred and eleven magic damage. So it's real strong, uh, and it's real beautiful. There's just I just can't get over the fact that it just doesn't quite feel as awesome to me as I hoped it would to actually, you know, just to use. Um, in boss fights, it feels a little slower. But I don't know. So, but but it but it's on the it's on the table now. Um, as well as some other weapons that I haven't upgraded yet, but do have. So I thought we could go back to the starting areas, test them out, see what their sort of weapon skills are like. There's also I've been on um, rankedboost.com, checked out their rankings of uh, intelligence weapons, and they reckon that um, uh, something called the Onyx Lord's Greatsword is a uh, S rank, um, as well as this, which I do already have, the Falling Star Beast Jaw, which is just absolutely ludicrous. Have a look at it. Where is it? It's Colossal, Colossal Sword. Why can't I see it? I know I have it. Good job I'm not doing this in the middle of a fight. Where are you? Seriously, where are you? Apologies to all the viewers who have already spotted it and are like, it's there, Luke. There we Oh, there it is. Look at this. Look at that. Have you ever seen anything so wild? Uh, I don't think this is... I don't think I, I don't think I can... I'm not wielding it effectively now. But, like, why don't we just swing it at this chump? Just so that you can, like, see... Oh, my gosh, he's got... <laughs> he's got, like, these big flails. <laughs> okay, I might be about to bite off more than I can chew here. <laughs> but I just want to... 
Oh no, you're stuck on some scenery, so maybe I'll be alright. I just want to sort of show you how it looks. It's making me heavy roll as well. Look at this. Bomb! Yeah, obviously we're not doing any damage here, but but look. It looks cool though, right? And it's got that like little sort of glowing bit of purple magic that comes out of it. That's nice, right? It's cool. Um wonder if I can sort of will he leave me alone long enough to switch to back to Moonvale to sort of There we go. So okay, so here's how Oh, okay, okay, jumping over me, eh? Jumping you think you can jump over Ray Sunshine, mate? I think you can do that. He can do that. Oh my gosh, he's an actual boss. Look, he's, he's on the script. Look at, but look at that. That weapon skill is just even post nerf, real strong. This is the game wants me to be doing this on horseback, but I say no, not with Moonvale, not necessary. Whoa, nice try, mate. How about this? Bam! Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I didn't. I really didn't think I would stumble into a fight with an actual boss. There we go. That's the horse down. So we just pop over, have your rib cage out, and that's that. And folks, that's. I mean, Moonvale. <laughs> it's a good sword, and this is the weakened version, <laughs> right? Um. Yeah. Angel Beat says Moonvale looks like it's still really good, but. Is it going to bother me that I know it was stronger? Is there something stronger out there? Okay, so Moonvale, it's still in the running. The Dark Moon Greatsword, it's still in the running. Let me show you what else is in the running. Uh, Oblivion Blade says Moonvale damage didn't get nerfed, the poise damage did. Yes, but the, the, the poise damage is real important. The poise damage is a huge part of like what makes it so good in boss fights. James Veerkamp says Moonbase is still, still great. It just staggers less. I know, but it's like... <laughs> Bobby Fernandez says, Slams newspaper. I should get the Moonvale Katana. Uh, right, okay. So let me show you what else... But, but here's the thing. Moonvale, yes, it's good. But there's other, there's other cool stuff. Look at this, for example. The Wing of Astil. The Wing of Astil is another cool... In Look, there you go. It's got... Uh, intelligent and dex scaling of D. Um, and it's got a pretty cool skill um, that looks like this. Here's what you do. You sort of do, make a little purple magic wall and then it bursts and explodes. Um, and it's a, you know, it's a slashy sword. It's kind of cool. That's cool, right? That looks good. And that doesn't use any FP doing that, despite the fact that it's blue. So that's really fun. However, however, and this is the this is a potential problem for me. It is literally an insect's wing. Look, it's gross. It's fundamentally gross. So I'm torn, right? But maybe I can get over the fact that it's literally a gross insect's wing if. It turns out to, like, basically shred dudes in a real hardcore way. The other one that I do have that I want to try out, that I haven't really tried yet, is a weapon that has the best name of any weapon I've seen so far in the game, Bastard Stars. Uh, I got this from the remembrance of a boss. It's a flail. Let's have a look at it. Okay. As you can see, it looks... It's got some physics, and it looks like a kind of glowy, glued-together children's science project model of the solar system. <laughs> it's like a bunch of little planets all stuck together. <laughs> Here's what the attacks look like. Okay, well, that's normal. Uh, heavy attack. Wind up the flail, give it a hit. Um, okay, quite short range. Um, but you know, it is a little universe on a stick, so... And, and here, but here, this, this is where things get spicy. Look at this skill. Whoa! Look at that, you sort of slingshot. Boom! A whole load of these gravity clouds and then they all burst. That's so cool. 
Isn't that sick? So this is in the running. So basically what I want to do is... Uh, Bobby Fernandez's actual question, any hints as to where the Moon Volcatana is found? Um, yeah, I can, I can, I can say where that is. Uh, right, the chat, the chat is really keen on bastard stars. Uh, right, yeah, I can show you where you get Moonvale if, if memory serves. It's definitely in Kalid, and I want to say it is in one of these caves. This isn't very useful. Go just Google it, Luke. It's in... Uh... All right, it drops from the boss in the jail tunnel in Kalid. That's right, which is this one. Yeah, uh, this one. This one here. Uh, you have to approach it from the Kalid side, but if you're a little way into the game, it's not too hard to get. So um, there you go. Uh, so... There's Bastard Stars. So I want to go, basically, head back to the starting area. Because these, these um, Astol's Wing and Bastard Stars are completely unupgraded. So we can't get a good sense of how cool they are and how fun they are to wreck enemies up. Unless we go hit some low-level things with them. Because, I, you know, I don't want to invest my precious upgrade materials in something that doesn't feel great. Because that's I've already made that mistake. If indeed it was a mistake with the Dark Moon Greatsword, which look I took to I took up to plus eight before I'd even really used it. So sure was I that it was my dreamy weapon. But to be fair, it does look sick, especially at night. So as you can see, I'm torn. I still love Moonvale. So here's what we're gonna do on the stream. Oh, Aiken seven four five says, "Do you have Frozen Needle? It's a neat intelligence weapon." Interesting. Frozen Needle. Let's look it up. Frozen Needle. A thrusting sword. That could suit me. Can be found. Is it somewhere I can go get it? Uh, it's in a... Oh, okay. I could go... I don't think I've got that. Let me just check I don't already have it. That could be... Let me just check I don't have it. But that, that could be a great tip. Because... Yeah, let's go Let's go get new weapons and try new weapons. This crystal knife also uh, has intelligence scaling. But... Look at it. It's tiny. I've never... I've, I, I think I'm too far in the game now to start considering a dagger build. Even though it does look kind of cute. Um, yeah, I don't think I have that frozen needle. Um, do, 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 requires, oh, requires defeating a boss. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, I want to go get that then. So let's go get frozen needle. Um, the other one that I want to get that is kind of locked away somewhere is the onyx lord's greatsword i've been you know googling around that that's of interest people in the chat saying geezer's wheel which i do have we can have a look at that if you want it's certainly a really cool looking weapon um here you go it's like the bloodborne pizza cutter check it out but but it does not uh, have any um, intelligence scaling. So it is no use to me. And I don't think... I don't think I can put an Ash of War on it to make it magic. I don't think. Even so, while it's funny... Oh, I de-equipped it. Oops. Even so, while it's funny, it is kind of slow... Um Yeah, that is that is sluggish. It's funny, but it's sluggish. Uh an evil Beyblade, says Shy Violet. Yeah, that's right. Um That's basically what it is. Okay, I tell you what, let's go get that um let's go let's go try and find that frozen needle that was mentioned. Um what the heck? It's a new weapon, I don't have it. I wanna go get it. Uh right, I'm on the wiki. Having a quick look at the map. 
Dum, da, 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 dum. Okay, let's put a let's just put a pin in roughly where it is. King's Realm ruins. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. So I have been there. Oh, that's where EG is. Okay. Let's portal over there and just sniff around. Um, clearly I missed something before. Raven 76 says, Crystal Sword is my go-to weapon early doors. That scales with int and dex mainly, I think. Uh, okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I tell you what. Should we use... Why don't we try using the Wing of Astel? Just going through here. It's, it's not going to do much damage to a lot of these enemies, because as I say, it's not been upgraded at all. But you know, it's, it's, you can, it's not terrible. How about this? Don't teleport away when I'm trying to kill you with gravity magic. Oh, these guys are the worst. I can... Okay, well, now you can see why I sort of didn't sniff around in this area very much. Are they all just going to portal away and not let me kill them with gravity magic? Come back. Let me kill you. Damn it. All right, where do you think he's going to pop up next? Certainly to anticipate his moves. There we go. Right, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, not so smug now, are you? Yeah, you yeah, wizard. Kicked your butt. All right, what's going on in here? We've got a glowy ghost. What do you have to say? These royal grounds were placed in our trust, but we stood no chance. All right, unhelpful. It's a bit dark here. Let's just pop, pop the old lantern on. Uh Oh, look. Ha ha ha. Yeah, see, that's the good thing about these fast weapons. Is that they kill these invisible jerks as well. Alright, where are you going? Please appear right here. No, I didn't. Didn't fall for it. That's pretty good. Moonveil would have done that even faster, though, and it's got the blood loss build up, which which means, as a sidebar, that your character gets, like, covered in blood as you fight, which is fun. Um, right, I wonder if I'm sniffing around in the right sort of place here. I'm in these ruins. I'm just wondering if there's, like, a kind of dungeon or something nearby. Trap ahead. All right. Oh, there it is. Well, thanks for the heads up message. Ah, you. Ah, we found a... Here we go. Here's a dungeon. Of some kind. Cellar ahead. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we got a boss fight. We got a boss fight situation. We got a message. Be wary of strong foe, therefore try healing. Well done, someone in Oxbox group defeating the shard bearer. Okay. Uh, Flogal Hinge says, Luke, have you found the Lightning Ram Ash of War? It is very good. I've only heard of it. Um, okay, right. Should we try this boss as we... Shall I try it with the Wing of Astol? Let's try it. What the heck? As long as they're not teleported. Oh, oh. Hello. Oh, dear. Not a fan of your whole deal. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? Uh, that's pretty cool. Hey, and have some more. Oh dear. Oh yes. Oh no, I didn't get the. Okay, I didn't get that critical. But well done, Wing of Astor, for for having a special attack that clearly is doing some like physical damage. Ow, ow. All right, let's, let's just find a window to heal. And then, there you go. Have some of this. Come get me. Oh, if you can poison, is it? No, thank you, sir. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> ran, out of, ran out of mana. Nearly ran out of life. Uh, okay, okay. Let's just pop my... Oh, tried to drink my wondrous physic there, but I don't think I got it out. That's pretty good. I need to get another stagger in, really, don't I? Do, 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 do. We're just auditioning. We're auditioning weapons. Really, I should die on purpose. 
If I die, I did it on purpose so that I could audition a different weapon. That's the line, right? Okay, come on, Luke. You are a quick boss, but I need a quick weapon because there are a lot of quick bosses in the game. Okay, nice try. Right, next successful dodge. Dodge through the poison. Do the stars. Come on, hit him. Oh, no, he wriggled. Teleported away. Oh, ne very nearly got poison there. You have to be careful. Watch that build up. Come on. Where's the stun? All right, tell you what. Let's forget briefly about the... Um... Oh, gosh. Oh, that was All right. All right. That's fine. Okay, let's go back in with the bastard stars and see what happens. K9 Coyote says, can someone remind me what the group password is? Yeah, it's Oxbox. Uh, right. Let's try that again. In a sec you know, we're just exploring. I reckon I could have got that boss pretty straightforwardly with the... With Moonvale. I could also use Spirit Summons to summon the, my Mimic tier, which also got uh, uh, nerfed. Um, but still seems really strong to me. Let me just quickly check in with uh, with uh, with the chat, see how everybody's doing, because we haven't even done that yet, have we? Oh my gosh, and I'm missing loads of loads of messages. Uh, Kirsty Han says this is exactly what I needed, having the worst day trying to do three jobs at work. Go smash with Sword Luke. Thank you very much. Uh, Jay Dyer says here's some money towards smithing stones for the new weapon. Thanks. Um. Very kind of you. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, Patrick Long says, for int weapons, can't recommend Moonvale enough. Maybe we, maybe, we, maybe, we stick, maybe we stick with Moonvale. I don't know yet. Stephen Donovan says, hey Luke, your Bloodborne playthrough reborn my love for these games. And I really enjoy the Ellen Souls Academy. Uh, thanks very much. Sainted Karma says, Luke, have you ever played Fatal Inertia? It's a Wipeout style hover racing game. No. That does sound like my kind of jazz though let me check in as well with the um official ox supporters club discord what are you all saying in there yeah i see you gossiping um do, 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 do. <laughs> okay it's mostly gifts um bam, 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 bam. leg says luke is reading the youtube chat so we can get up to all sorts of weird stuff and he won't know well i looked at it didn't i I looked at it. Um, Eric uh, Von Ein says, Oh my god, I love the solar system flail. And Codex versus the Welters, I actually really like the insect wing. Okay. And Andy of Death says, Quick, hide everyone. It's too late. Saw your messages. Saw ya. Gentle Mandrel says, Hello, Luke. Um, I've got... I tested positive today after dodging COVID for quite some time, so this stream is a treat. Oh, I'm really sorry, Gentle Mandrel. I hope you're feeling alright. And I hope you f feel better soon. Um... Sending my best. Okay, right. Let's try that again with bastard, bastard stars, and just see. Just get like a kind of gut check reaction on how it feels. Where was the entrance? It was somewhere over here, wasn't it? Hello. Oh. Where is your stupid base camp? There it is. Pop, in, pop down here. All right. Okay. Bastard Stars audition commence. I will just try and pop and get these uh, rooms because you know it's not a fortune or anything. You know, twenty 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 thousand, not to be sniffed at. Right. Here we go. Whoom. Okay, that was cool, but obviously, as you can tell left me exposed for a good long time and it's a very fast boss. This is actually a perfect boss to be sort of testing this stuff against, I think. Oh, no! Bastard stars, you're getting me poisoned. Right. Let's stop with the, um... Let's, try, let's just try some standard attacks. Bam. Flail. Flail. No, no. You are a fast boss. Heavy attack. 
It's okay. It doesn't feel as fast as I'd hoped it would to use. Right in the poison. I'm already poisoned. Who cares? It's just more poison. I like poison. Okay. Still getting my butt kicked here. But again, that's kind of fine. That's kind of fine because we're testing weapons. Heavy attack. The heavy attack is fun. Kind of hits twice on the way down. Let's try that again. Oh, for goodness sake. You call that tracking? It's going to take more than that to beat the Royal Revenant. Bonk. Mm, I would have liked to stagger by now. Oh, there we go. We got it. Damn. Missed it, though, but... It's fine. Ah, oh, there's so... The wind-up of that is slow. I'm going to die again. Okay, that's all right. It's all right. The wind-up of the catapult thing is... Slow. But that was okay. I didn't hate it. Shall I try all this? Okay. Do, 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 do. I can go in there again with the Dark Moon Greatsword. It is going to absolutely whoop its butt, though, because it's so upgraded. Uh, let me try that once more with the Bastard Stars. Um, right, where was the... Where is your... Is it, where, tell me where you... Tell me the location of your base camp. Okay, I know where I am. So easy to get lost around. Around these sorts of... Spots. There we go. Okay. Now, quickly before you can do anything. Whoop. Pretty, pretty spot on that. But again, he's been exposed to a poisoning, and I don't want to be poisoning. I want to be poisoning. Jumping attacks in this game are so strong, I can't recommend them enough. If you're not jumping a lot in this game, you need to start, because it's so good for the staggering and such. Oh, yeah, dodge your poison. Heal window. Oh, quick. Yeah, I just can't get that heavy attack off. Bang, bang, bang. Get flailed! Oh, sorry, thought I could heal there. Was wrong. And bonk! That's an opportunity to uh there you go. So you just you need you need like you need big time windows to get the to get the heavy up. To get the skill off. Come on. Now to be fair. I should be, like, we're in the sort of more advanced area of Lioneer of the Lakes. Oh, that's cool. Look, did you see it put out some of the stars, even though I didn't get the whole thing off? That's kind of fun. I should be, like, when I was in this area with my Claymore, it was pretty upgraded already. So, like, this isn't, like, a, a completely fair assessment of the Bastard Stars because, again, I am... It's completely unupgraded. But it, as a sort of, you know, I need a weapon that's going to perform when the chips when the chips are down, when things are tough. Okay, okay, now, it's, okay, now what I needed that skill to do there was to stagger the royal revenant. Okay, okay. Shy Violet says this poor boss has no idea they're being used in an experiment. Shafi Asgar says, the skill seems more for multiple enemies than for boss fights. Yeah. All right. It is, it's probably going to destroy the poor thing. But uh, let's just go in there with the great the great sword. Just again, just for a sense of the feel. Because, it's a, as I was saying, it, the, the weapon felt slower than I thought it would. And um, that did put me off slightly. How have I got lost again? Was over here? It's over here, I think. 
Where the... Yeah, right. There we go. Over here. So let's just try... It'll deal... It'll do... Don't pay attention to how much damage this does, okay? Because it is so upgraded. But pay attention to how quickly it hits. That's what I want to evaluate. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, you better crawl back into your hole. Mm. I need you to stay alive while I continue to evaluate my sword. Mm, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen, is it? Although, you could kill me. That would do it. Mm, this next hit's gonna kill it, isn't it? But that's okay. What can you do? All right, Royal Revenant, you are down, which means I get access to the needle. Oops. Uh, at some point, I lost all my runes in there. Oh, I must not have gone back to get them. Oh, never mind. doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Sneckle says Bastard Stars is literally a baby rattle. <laughs> yeah, right. Logan J. Frost says, what sword is that? It's the Dark Moon Greatsword. Upgraded to, again, upgraded to plus eight, though. So, Dave Gresham says that looked more your style, Luke. Aratan 3 says, it's almost like weapon upgrades are significant. Yes, they are, which is why, you know, that, that was not a fair part of the test. We need to go, you know. But I have been using the Greatsword against, there's the Frozen Needle. Uh, against you know much heavier en you know heavier enemies, and I was finding it just a little, a little slow for something that has range that little. Also, often the, the magic beam was missing. Now let's have a look at this needle then. Well, it looks cool. It literally is an icicle, which is pretty rad. Look at that. Aesthetically. Aesthetically, I'm impressed. And look, it's even sort of distorting my character through it. Mad graphics on this sword. That Okay, that looks sick, says Gentle Mandrel. Yeah, right. Um, let's have a look at the moveset. Now we've got this nice empty, empty boss-free room. Okay, so yeah, it's a sort of stabby rapier. Oh, that's cool. That was the that was the uh, one-handed heavy attack. Looks like it kind of just puts a kind of spike of ice. Yeah, shoots out a little spike of ice. That's fun. Um, let's have a look at its description. Can inflict frost upon enemies. Oh, forged by E.G. That's cool. E.G.'s cool. Uh, oh, it launches the actual blade, and then the blade regenerates. Skill that that's piercing armaments, overcome enemy shields, build power, then lunge forward for a strong thrust. Um, okay, I'm a, a, like, I'm canonically a big fan of the idea of the, the actual. Oh yeah, can I can I sort of see it? Oh yeah, there you go. And then the blade kind of comes back. Well that okay. Yeah, look at that. It's like just for a moment. There's no. There's nothing on it. And then that's the. That's the kind of anti-shield uh, skill. That's cool. That just is cool. Let's go outside and try and kill some stuff with it. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Hello! Any volunteers? Who wants to get poked with my new icicle? Where are, they? Where are all you stupid ghosts? Ah! Have some of this! Blip, blip, blip. <laughs> Look at that! Frostbite popped at the last minute. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, let's shoot you range with an icicle. Then see how smart you are. Damn. Got me in the wind up. Damn, got me again. Making him. Okay, I need to need to start charging it up before he reappears. There we go. Oh! Not quite. And that hit the, that hit the pillar, but in theory, we're getting there. 
timing. It's about time in this, isn't it? Dang. You know what? This is taking too long. Let's just... Are you gone? Nice. Burst you with icicle magic. Right. Okay, cool. Um, shall we go get... Try and get one more weapon. Although, will I be able to use it without a respec? It was the Onyx Lord Greatsword. Let me just have a look at its requirements. Requires 20 strength. Do I have 20 strength? 17. Could probably farm a few levels to get that up to try a weapon. Also, like, then we can at least look at it and, like, have a look at its move set. Um, okay, cool. Let's, uh, it's in an area of the game I've not explored yet, though, so it's going to be a little ride. Uh, according to the map, it's kind of, like, here-ish, so why don't we go here, get the map, uh, and then we can sort of check out from there where we're going. So, off to the, no, not the Grand Lift of Dectus, the Erd Tree Gazing Hill. Okay. Helios Luna says, has Luke tested the sorcery change as well? I know that there is a sorcery change to Great Glintstone Shard, so that it now shoots further. Oh god, I genuinely didn't mean to shoot that. Oh, you saw I wasn't locked on. That was a, a that was manslaughter at worst. That that was that was that was cold blooded murder. But the first one, wee. <laughs> a goat go. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is that Ash of War that lets me roll around like a goat? Um. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Lightning Ram Ash of War. Please be somewhere I can pick up. Altus Plateau, that's where we are now. Just south of the Sainted Hero's Grave. Drops from a Teardrop Scarab. Yes, let's go get that just so that we can roll around like a, uh, roll around like a, a sheep. Storm Caller. Okay, right. I'm just, I'm just looking at a map on the wiki. Oh gosh, look, it's right on the way. Um, brilliant. Okay, so around about here, that's where we get the power to turn into a sheep and roll around at the speed of sound. Places to go. Got to follow my rainbow. Uh, en route, Frozen Needle, uh, something up, unupgraded is not going to cut it. Uh, so I'm going to switch back to Moonvale plus seven because Moonvale, need I remind you, is still in the running here, folks. Just because it's been nerfed doesn't mean it isn't still... Doesn't mean it's not still the best and most favouritest weapon. Because they what they nerfed was the poise damage that the that the skill does. And while that is so important to me... Um, come on, Skyrim up here. There we go. Have some of this! Bam! Oh man, it's just... It's just... Look at that. Donk. Oh! <laughs> Where'd you come from? Okay, let's test. Let's let's do some magic on you. I really like this spell. Um, Rock Sling, it's called. Look at this. Boom. The range on this spell is absolutely bonkers. It's so useful in boss fights. I'm trying to run away from you so I can demonstrate the range of Rock Sling, dude. Can you just give me a second? And they and they they've got real good tracking as well. They're like following the. All right, let's 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 put this dude out of his out of everyone's misery. Is the horse still alive? Can the horse walk away from this? Yes, I think the horse is going to be okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I actually have veterinary training, and I just checked. I'm just checking the pulse now. Yeah, this horse is going to be just fine. This horse is going to be just fine. Don't worry about it, folks. Okay. How are we doing on the map? We're doing good. We're doing good. We're making progress towards... Oh, hello. More enemies, is it? Oh, gosh. We've got two big fellas. I tell you what. Let's give the... Uh... Let's re-audition the greatsword with these different types of enemies. So we need to buff it up first. 
which consumed a lot of magic. Hey, uh, look! It missed! The bee missed! And that has been... That's a problem that I have found with the sword in general. <laughs> he did his mate. Uh, that's good. <laughs> They're kicking each other. Fellas, fellas. Look, you need to cooperate. You need to cooperate if you're going to take down Ray Sunshine. It's just... It's just... Ev, it's good. It hits hard. It just... I don't know how to describe it. It just feels a little... <sighs> floaty is maybe the word? I don't know. Who's this? Who's this now? Ooh, let's try to see if we can get an icy backstab. Whoa. Oh, look. And just... Just when I needed it the most, the uh, the buff has worn off, which is another thing you've got to kind of manage. That it's hard to hold your sword aloft in a cool way and summon the moonlight when you keep getting, getting kicked at the chest. Okay, oh, that's I kind of. Hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. All good data. All good data. All good intel. I tell you what, do you want to see the claymore? Just to, like... Just because, like, there's no... The claymore was really doing the business for me. There's no reason why the claymore can't also be in contention. Uh, it needs scholar's armament. Here's the damage we're looking at with that. 245 plus 83. Ah, now, I won't be getting much benefit physically because... I've skewed it heavy, and as you can see, it now has B strength scaling, but I have very little strength compared to dexterity. So, at a sight of grace, next time I can re I can pop that back to being a a quality claymore, um, or maybe even a keen claymore. Right now, it looks like I need to get up here, but how? Uh, maybe like over here. Or maybe over here. I might have to take the long way around a little bit here. But it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it to uh, to become a, a rolling ram. Do, 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 do. That is another thing. A, lo a lot of the weapons that we're talking about. Um, oh, God. <laughs> okay. Okay. This might be a little more awkward to get to than I thought. Uh, okay. Alright, it's fine. God of my. The map doesn't really always give you a clear indication of the... That's a tunnel, so that's right in the base of this thing. Am I going to have to go, like, all the way around here? Because I'll do it. Oh, wait, hang on! Is that a sort of slope? Potentially. Or is that where I literally just was? Let's, let's go find out. Do 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 bum bum bum. No, that's not gonna. No, I'm not, not getting up this side, am I? All right, I'm gonna have to do a bit of running around. That's fine. It won't take as long as it seems. Okay. Oh, windmills. That's cool. I've not really like explored around here too much. So, so this sort of rocky outcrop is what I'm trying to get on top of. Let's just ride around, poke at the edges. There's a slope on the east side, says Jake Booth. Well done, someone defeating the shard bearer. Congrats. Oh, okay. Well, there's a portal. Oh, a sight of grace. Well, let's let's pop that just just so that we've done it. Lovely. Okay. So yeah, it looks like we need to sort of head round and down to the east. I probably can't survive a fall off this, can I? Oh no, it kind of steps down conveniently. I'll be alright. Uh, alright. 
Let's hop down here. Hello, lads. Get Claymored. Oh, I'll tell you what. They hit a bit harder than I was anticipating. But I've got your golden arrows now. What will you do? What will you do now that I, Ray Sunshine, have stolen your golden arrow? Powerless to stop me. What the heck is that? Okay, well let's... Here you go, you get a little Claymore demo now. Or whatever the heckins this thing is. See, look, it's pretty cool. And for... Oh, no, it's got... Oh, I hate it. But it did die. Oh my gosh, that's death. Death build-up it was doing. <gasps> There's another one. Oh my god, I'm in the valley of the... Hell creatures. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Well, this sucks. Uh, Alright, it looks like if I... Mm, I'm going to need to get out all the way over here. Let's try and fight one more. Just for funsies. I wonder if they can be backstubbed. I see you have worms for a face, my friend. Nope. Oh, so pukey. Let's move out of your puke miasma. So there we go, like the, the heavy attacks on the, the Claymore, it's good, right? Look at it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a little too close for comfort. All right, let's... Hop on torrent a bit while that bar depletes. Bum 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 bum. There's a way around if you take the portal, says uh, Ryan Johnson. Ah, oh, it's too late now. I'm committed, committed to this route. We'll have to go through Windmill Town. Uh, what should we use weapon-wise in Windmill Town? Why don't we? Start mean great, so let's let's get let's, let's get Moonvale back in the back in the running. Because as I say, it's not it's not out the running. You, madam. Look at that. That is that is cool. Okay. Windmill village. Windmill village. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I thought this might happen. Get them both at once with this. Yeah, man, like, that's so versatile. <laughs> uh, I'm, well, I don't know. And look, also, I'm getting covered in blood as we go, as I kill my way through this village of women. What's that, then? What's this item? Poison grease, is it? Well, fine. Windmill Village seems a bit Resident Evil 4. Uh, Mr. Lenny Shelby just made that exact observation. Right. Uh, shall I ride? Windmill Village seems seems bad. Maybe I should come back here another time. That's the path we want to take, I think. We're trying to get over there. Can we get there via this? I think so. If we follow this path around... Yeah, I think it'll work. I've got that Breath of the Wild feeling, though, where I kind of just want to stick my nose into Windmill Village. Oh. I already have regrets. Oh, there's a sight of grace, though. Well, look, I'm glad I at least poked my nose. Oh, they're dancing! <laughs> I'm putting my weapons away. This is a, this is a, this is a party town. Hooray! do 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 let Ray Sunshine join in the dance. Oh, they're all giggling. This is brilliant. Everybody do the point forwards. Everybody do the finger snap. Boop, 
boop 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 on the beat. Everybody jump for joy. Everyone's having a good time. Dancing in Windmill Village, where dreams come true. This is the best location in the game. I'm so happy with my decision. Try gesturing. All right. Seeing as I'm doing a lot of gesturing anyway. Finger snap. Does nothing, of course. Ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Everybody's having a good time. Welcome to Windmill Village. Where every... Oh my god, there's so many of them. Welcome to Windmill Village. We're having a good time. Let's dance around the maypole and sacrifice some locals. <laughs> Everybody rest. Sit down at Windmill Village. Just have a... have a good old time. This is the creepiest. If I wasn't playing this not on a live stream, I would be so creeped out. Okay, there's a ghost of someone fighting. Clearly they're all gonna, like, go aggressive if I take one of their goodies, right? Will they mind if I just ever quit so quickly, like, just... No, they don't mind! They're like, have it! Your rune arc is my rune arc. In the village of happy dancing, everything is cool. Everything's cool and groovy. Do I have, um, do I have a more sort of dancey? How about warm welcome? In the village of dancing, you receive a warm welcome! <laughs> Welcome, everyone. This is great. So glad I detoured. Uh, oh, sorry about your fence. I hope none of you dancing folks will take offence. Uh, let's not think about how they, what happened to that person. Probably they're just passed out from partying too hard. Onwards and upwards, I say. Let's keep, let's keep going. Uh, look, the party continues up here. Look, they're all... Oh! A what? Oh, no, the vibe has changed. The vibe has changed! The vibe has very, very much changed. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> okay, look, folks. Folks. Dang, Runevale. Moonvale, even. Well, I may as well call it. Is everyone down there still dancing? Okay. See, look. Th these people down here on the on the lower slope, they know how to have a good time. <sighs> you know, it's like you're, you're at a festival. Someone's taken something they shouldn't have. And suddenly their eyes have gone a glowing red. With evil energy. Do, 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 do. do oh. Okay. Okay. Blatantly gonna be something up, up there, wasn't there? Yes. Oh, that's annoying. Now I have to go back and do it again. Do 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 do. We will get back to auditioning. This is what happens when you try to play Elden Ring, though. You set out with one goal, and then you're like, oh well, I'll pick up this Ash of War that makes me roll around like a goat. And then you're like, well, I might go to this windmill village that's full of dancing weirdos. Hello. Everybody having a good time. What's the vibe like up here? I hear giggling. That's a good sign. Maybe I should put away my sword. I don't want to. I don't want to strike. Okay. Well, there's a summoning pool. Okay. This is cool. They're sitting down and shit. No. No. Again. There's been a murder here, and the victim is. The vibe. Human bone shard. I'm not going to go too close to them. I don't want to. I don't want to kill these happy party people if I don't absolutely have to. Oh, ah, right. Okay, we do have a boss. All right. Well, you. You tell you what. Pretty tough one as well. Whoa, okay, that's cool. Hopefully this will be an opportunity to show off um, some of Moonvale's more uh, awesome skills. 
I'm thinking mainly of the ability... Oh! Oh, that was lucky. I've taken off my talisman that um, increases damage with subsequent attacks, but that would be helping if I had not taken it. Oh my god! No! That's deeply unpleasant. No, thank you. No, thank you. Where is the rest of your body gone? Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Heal up. Heal up. We'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. We may be all right. <laughs> what the hell? What is this move set? Why are you hitting this? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I thought I got that hit in. There we go. Okay. Woo! <laughs> was absolutely bonkers. Oh, great. You've got to have the godskin peeler. <laughs> Wild. Wild. Stretch Armstrong has joined the fight, says J. Dove, a.k.a. Marvelous Jacket Man. How many soul runes did I get from that? Some. A good, a goodly amount. Uh, okay. Is that... Was that it? There must be... Were you guarding, like, a cool thing? You weirdo? I feel like you should have been guarding a cool thing. Maybe it's behind this final windmill. Look! Ray Sunshine is covered in blood. Which, again, is a feature of the katana that you, you cannot overlook. It's very bloodborne y to be sort of soaked in gore like that. I don't I don't know if Yeah, I think that just the stuff he dropped was the cool the cool thing. Alright, well I'll tell you what. Uh let's clip the last um fifteen minutes of that to get the boss. And also those dancing people are so funny. Uh okay, cool. Well, Look, I just had such a wonderful time here in Windmill Village. I don't think I've been over to this bit. But it's just more... It's just more good times. Might just ride past on my horse. Just steal this. Whoop! It's just a gold firefly. That's alright. They're cool. They're cool with it. They're chill. They're chill. They're in the chill-out tent. Oh, there's an item down there. You got this, Torrent? You got this? You're going to randomly die like you sometimes do? No, you're okay. Cool. Whoa! Tell you what, it's a lot more fun to uh, leave Windmill Town. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> uh, oh, a ghost. Hello. Eek! I hear a festive melody. No, no, don't skin me. My hide is filthy, I swear. <laughs> don't skin me. You don't want to skin me. My skin's all gross and itchy. That was funny. I'll have that. Uh, good. Right, okay. That was a brilliant detour. I'm so happy I detoured to Windmill Village. Um, but... Let's try and get back on track, get that Ash of War. Then we can go get that big sword. Then we can go try them all out on some me meagre enemies. Any of these, any of this, any of this war material are going to shoot at me? I think we're alright. Okay, we'll follow this path round. Oh, music's gone a bit musicy in here. Probably something to do with these clearly haunted ruins. Likely beast, says the message. But I don't see a beast. I see these folks upset that their catapult is overturned or rolled down a hill. Didn't expect ambush. I've not been ambushed. Weird. Weird. Hmm. 
maybe I will be ambushed somewhere. Hello, folks. Don't mind me. Hup. And we're out of there. Uh, can't look at the map because I'm under attack, but I'm pretty sure this is the right way. I think we want to be sort of going up onto these plateaus here. Is that a sight of grace there? Okay, quite a lot more lightning than I was expecting. That's okay. You can deal with lightning. You know what happens to a toad when it gets struck by lightning? The same thing that happens to everyone else. Okay, question for the group. Is that line in X-Men good or not good? Because I've never been sure. I will just pop on that attack power with successive attacks talisman because it is super, super cool with the old uh, moon belt. Right, okay, things are getting a bit... Am I, am I heading the right way? Yes, so this is where I want to be. It's just over there. Do androids dream? of these electric sheep. This is cool. Look, this sheep is full of electricity. <laughs> Game of the year. Game of the year. Okay. Look at this person. Are you an NPC? Oh no, you're two guards. Oh. Okay, so I think we're looking for a scarab around here in these clearly electric-y bits. Uh, that marker isn't exact. I kind of plopped it on very roughly, so I'm listening out for the kind of... Oh, 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 maybe that's it. You see that? See the scarab there? There it is. Now, all too often, I screw up getting these things. Uh, let's just try... Glintstone shards, now that they've increased the range. Great. That was easy enough. Lightning ram! Amazing. <laughs> excuse me, sir. Excuse, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Alright. I can't teleport out because I'm technically in combat. I don't want to kill this ram. This ram is just... <laughs> this ram is just having a good time. Um, okay, where where's the map fragment? Maybe still can't look at the map. When I get to a site of grace, I will. Um, there we go. Okay, where was that site of grace that we just rested at just now? Okay, let's rest there. Try out the ram move. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Uh, let's get let's get ye oldy claymore out and put the ash of war on it. The heavy claymore needs lightning ram. Uh, oh, and while we're here, we can uh, we can scale. Um, there you go. Look at that! Look at that keen damage. We scale it keen. Okay, brilliant. Let's try it out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Lightning rams. <laughs> Didn't expect the bleating. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of sand. Got places to go. Got to follow my rainbow. Can't stick around. I have to keep moving on. Guess what lies ahead. <laughs> One way to find out. Look, I'm one of you now. Admittedly, I've used all my mana, so... Oh, God, sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, I have to leave. Uh, bye. <laughs> oh, God, that was brilliant. Right, let's get... Let's go, um... Let's go get that map fragment. Excuse me, folks. Don't find me. I'm just on my way to get a map fragment. 
Doodly doo. Is this gonna be something? Oh, okay. 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 That's a bit higher than I thought it would be. Can I sort of Skyrim my way elegant? That might be right. If I fall down there. Maybe. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Don't know what you were also worried about. Uh, okay. If you were a map fragment, where would you be? I was kind of down on here on the main road. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. That was a bit... That was a bit spicy. Oh, hello, skeleton. God, I've got to get all the way down there. Just to get the map fragment. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. Uh, right, let me just get out of combat and we'll... Okay, I'd have been better off sticking on this road, wouldn't I? Um, never mind. Do, 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 do. That was close, wasn't it? Remember when I nearly rode off that ledge? There we go. This is sort of maybe a way down. This is kind of what I was trying to get up onto before. Oh, a church. Ah, oh, yeah, sacred tear. Lightning great bolt. Brilliant stuff. Now, can I just sort of... Will you let me... Maybe if I go down here, halfway... No, 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 no. I think we may have done it, folks. We may have... Yeah, yeah. I think we've weaseled our way down. We just about got away with that. Oh, look! Is that a golden seed? Have I already picked it up? Apparently so. Alright, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I don't remember that, but that's okay. Oh, Sight of Grace. Well, I don't think I've picked that up. Good. Just have a quick rest because it did take some damage there. Okay, now all I need to do is ride along this road, grab the map fragment, and then we can like teleport back. Uh, although I think actually the place we want to go is like over here ish. So maybe let's ride in, get the map fragment. As I look at the architecture of this. I'm wondering if I've been a bit blasé about my simply ride along this road plan. It is starting to look a bit... It is starting to look a bit significant. <laughs> but these enemies aren't... Ooh, you've got a big bow, sir. These enemies aren't, like, that strong or tough. I guess this is kind of like the sort of... Ow. Oh! It's now letting me summon a summon a mate. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. First off, first off, I want to slightly apologise because I feel like I may have accidentally tripped into something that is a bit more storyish and narrative. Where's Moonvale? Than I wanted to show. Oh, it's Tree Sentinels, like from the start of the game. Uh, well, look, they've got bored already. So let me hop over here. Let's let's see my mimic. In act oh God! No, no, no. Here we go. Easily killed. Easily killed because I took half my health off summoning my mimic. Go now, ghost clone, kill them. Okay. All right. Da, 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 da. All right, that's fine. We'll just ride back up there. I might just go through the doors. You know, I might just ignore them. Come back later. Uh, but it would be fun to. Okay. Oh my god. Well, that didn't happen last time. How could you? How could you do that to Sweet Torrent? 
I need to give Torrent some, some berries immediately. Poor Torrent. HP cut in half. Tree sentinels at every every turn. Do 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 Yeah, nice try, mate. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Do, 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 do. This is cool. Let's cheese it through the door. Do, 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 do. Oh, I do want to do the fight, but maybe I don't know. Maybe we can like come back after we've got the mounts. Yeah, nice try, friends. Might just get my stuff though. <laughs> and bye. Oh, there's a tree and a sight of grace. Okay. The right answer is to pop through the door and kill them afterwards. Capital outskirts. Well, these are just cap. Oh, excuse me, mate. Could you, uh. Yeah, could you get lost? <laughs> okay, great. Two golden seeds. Oh, what a treat. I tell you, have we got enough to level up? Um, not level up. I mean, level up my flask. Yes, great, brilliant. Um, I'm gonna use the sacred tier as well that we got earlier. Cool. Okay. Um, what the hell? Should we have a little tickle on those on those bosses? Seeing as they're just seeing as they're just there. Should I try it mounted or? Hello, mates. Dealing a fair old bit of damage. Tree sentinels, indeed. Ah, darn. Would this be easier unmounted, or would it be like a million times harder? You're hitting pretty, you're pretty, you're hitting me pretty hard, folks. Let's get aggressive. Folks. Fight back begins now. <laughs> okay, the fight back may have to begin. The fight back has been somewhat just postponed, just a little bit. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, new plan. Do that unmounted. To uh, Cy Raven seventy six says tree sentinels I only count two. Okay. Um, oh look, there's the map fragment. Okay, I'm going to try that one more time. Because I'm glutton for punishment. I wonder if I can, like, lure them, lure one of them out here. And I'm going to summon my mimic clone. Hopefully before the other one notices me so that I can get my health back. And what I really would like is for my spirit to distract... There we go. Okay, so let's get the summon. Let's put on my flask of wondrous physic. Let's heal up. Right, and now, very craftily, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack one, and I'm gonna go back through the gates. All right, we're in it now. Okay, yeah, you. Ah, moon, moon veil. It's doing the business. Also, that other one. That other tree sentinel has just not noticed. Sleeping on the job. Oh, just really doesn't care. Okay, there we go. Now that now is involved. All right, we got a tree sentinel down. Good job, mimic. As you can, see, you know, apparently been nerfed. But not that much, I would say. Yep, yeah, get off your stupid horse. Look at that increased damage output with every slice. And you're stunned. Okay, I think my Mimic stole the kill there with the final blow, which I don't approve of. You better dissolve. But that said, that obviously went great. Uh, so yeah, happy with that. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. I wouldn't have expected that to be better not mounted but it was uh good good stuff um <laughs> katie douglas says that went much better and you didn't have to let torrent get murdered yeah an unmurdered torrent is my preference uh right let's check in with the chat Ooh. 
Um, Lady Sanctuary 93 says, good luck, Luke. I hope, hope you're having fun with it. Uh, can't watch live due to poxy college work, but really excited to catch up later. Um, yeah, I'm having so much fun with it. I love this game. Um, hey, oh. Come on, resize my windows. Uh, Haley Hewland says, the toad line was the... Oh, the toad, this is the... Do you know what happens when a toad gets struck by lightning? The same thing happens to everyone else. The toad line was a culmination of a running gag where toad would say what happens to a toad when it bounces back, for example. But they cut all the setup and let us make fun of Storm for years. Oh, no. I can't believe they did that to Storm. They made Storm sound a bit silly. And Andy Psyker says, just wanted to say thank you um, to the Oxbox team for the good times and laughs. Uh, thank you very much. That is really uh, kind of you. Um, Park underscore Beaver in the Discord chat says, wow, Mimic is still amazing. Uh, yep. Still amazing. Uh, can I level up? Mm, I'm a bit shy. How am I doing for runes? Hero's rune? Well, that's got to be massive. Golden rune. T Shall I spend this hero's rune? Quick check. I've not seen one of these before. Quick check that it's not like... You need this to get the good ending. Okay, no. I think it's just a big spicy rune. How many runes are we talking? 15,000. Yum, 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 yum. That, that's going to get us there, folks. Uh, bah, 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 bah. What did I need? Yeah, great. All right. We're going to level up. Uh, what a treat. Um, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, now, if we want to use that strength weapon that we're about to go find, probably I should put it in strength. That said, if I end up picking a dex weapon, I would rather poke dexterity up to 31 everything scales also with strength though so strength isn't like a bad investment um what is the requirement of that thing i'm trying to find can i realistically get up to that point in half an hour uh the requirement is bear with me strength 20 i'm not gonna get there uh not this stream. Let's poke decks up. Cool. Um, right. Now that we've got that, though. Now. So this spot. That's where we want to go, I think. To get that. Um, to get that weapon that I, I have read about. So let's. Let's just head straight there now. We've only, we've only got. Uh, we've got wolves. Oh, it's down... Okay, it's sort of like down there. I have to say, Moonvale plus Mimic, like, they really acquitted themselves well in that little boss encounter. Yeah, okay, I think I want to be down here, most likely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, that's a bit sketchy. But it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. It's alright. We're just working our way down. <gasps> we got poison pods! Now, who watched the video that we published on Outside Extra about the thing you can do with these poison pods? And look, I even have some poison bone darts equipped. So, look, you got a land squirt. It's bothering you with its poison. Come on. Do your thing. Spray poison everywhere. You gonna do it? I'm just going to wiggle around. You're going to embarrass me on a live stream. Come on, do, do some poison. Squirt your poison. Mate, squirt your poison. I'm serious. There we go. Right. Oh, no. Poison. But what if we throw a few uh, darts in and overload the squirt until... It bursts. Right. And you know what the best thing is? It's a chain reaction. So if I pick this one in the middle. All right. And now we just enjoy fireworks from a safe distance. There they go. Amazing. 
And super, super satisfying. Okay, good stuff. Right, I think this is it. This is it, folks. This, I think, if we can clear it, is where we're going to find an apparently good intelligence weapon. Uh, I probably won't be able to wield it, but we can at least have a look at it, and we can play around with the moveset a little bit, can't we? Um, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Right, let's go poke our noses where it's not, then our nose isn't wanted. Uh, although, that said, invisible wall? Invisible! Um, one of the trolliest things about this game is how, for like the first 50 hours, there are genuinely no invisible walls, and then suddenly there just are some. So right at the point where you start to think, I think I can stop looking for invisible walls, suddenly it's like invisible wall central. Uh, okay, well there's a treasure chest down there, so... Oh! I hear screaming. Oh no, I hate these dudes. Ow, ow, ow. I just swipe them out of the air, don't I? Alright, are you like a trap or whatever? Oh, door ahead. Okay. Hidden path. Hidden path, thank you. Oh, cool! That's a great item. Very happy to have that. Well, would you look at that hidden path? Brilliant. Um... I mean, I probably... I, th I don't know if Andy's watching, but he would be disappointed if I didn't kill all these people who are just doing their jobs. So I am just going to quickly do that. Um, tell you what. Let's give Wing of Astil... Again, unupgraded, so it's not going to really do the business. But let's just give it another little little try, little trial here. Yeah, that. Pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. That's also, it's a, it's really fun, and it seems a lot faster than the um, bastard stars again, which like just, just takes that bit longer to charge up. I definitely like the, I definitely like Astol's wing more than the flight. Look again, like that. I'm gonna need more range than that. Okay. So slow. I mean, in a boss fight, in a slow boss fight, that could be super, super useful because I bet it does hilarious damage. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Do, do, bum, 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 bum. Uh, okay, lots of hidden pathways and such. Oh, 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 you know I'm gonna have to, you know I'm gonna have to risk life and death to, to just grab those things on the little thing. No, <laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. Let's pretend we didn't. <laughs> Let's pretend we didn't see that. Okay, this time maybe I'll let these folks just get on with their work. Um Uh I saw a message in the chat asking if I have the Royal Greatsword, um, which is a good one to have mentioned. Oh, ow, folks, folks, why can't we be friends, why can't we be friends, oh no, killed again, um, uh, yeah, I do have that great sword, um, it's really cool looking, let's have a look at it, um, I, uh, I am. Uh, it's another one that I sort of struggled with the slowness of it, but it does have that intelligence scaling uh, that I love and, and desperately crave. Uh, where is it though? That's the question. Do, 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 do. Come on, there it is. Look at that. Pretty sick. 
Bonk. Bonk. Don't think I can show you the... Uh... Yeah, if I had the right strength attribute, that would... That looks cool, right? It would also be doing, like, a cool AoE icy damage thing. Um... Oh, I also have another katana, which is a popular choice. The meteoric ore blade. I don't like the look of it. It it does match my hat and gloves. As you can, can you can I get a good angle on it? Because there it's kind of studded studded with these little orange bits. And it does. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's, let's give it this. Give it a. Let's give it a trial. Against that little imp thing, because it's got some. It's got this gravity magic. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh dear. Right, I better pick up the pace a little bit here because we've only got sort of 20 minutes to. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Bum, 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 bum. Um. Alright. Now a little imp is here. And how about this? Get dragged towards me. Oh, that's cool. Oh, right down the spine. Very, un very uncomfortable. Um, okay, I might not bother with the consumables this time because what am I saying? Of course I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna die again trying to get it. There we go, smithing stone. Uh, what now? <laughs> I don't have a plan now. Um, let's equip my thing that makes me not take fall damage, and then let's just. Yeah, problem, problem solved. No worries at all. What even was that? I wasn't even looking. Send the lift back up, because probably I'll need it in a sec. Door ahead. Well, would you look at that? This is cool. It's like a cavern, but with roots. Golden rune. Is there another path ahead? Oh, there is another path ahead. Okay, well now... Now we've got a big old room. Now we got a big old room. Try sorcery. Yeah, I think I might. Bonk. Yeah, some of that. Oh, where did you hit me from? You. Get sorcelled. Yeah, that's right. And you. One more. They really have improved the range on this spell. Like that, there that would have not reached halfway yesterday, honestly. Uh, which is great. So, you know, it just goes to show that when the patch, the patching comes in, it's not all bad news for your dreamy weapons. Oh, I see. You wish to fight me? Well, well, now you're dead. And you're done. Uh, uh -huh -huh -huh. It's always worth just clicking in the right stick a few times. Just a great way to see who's lurking around. Um, I think it's probably safe to jump down at this point, assuming I won't die. There we go. Something's noises. Noises. Oh god. Oh god, no. Moonvale! <laughs> Moonvale! No, 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 no. Okay, I need to run away. No, don't do a gesture! <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Someone's put a message at the base of that ladder, which is super unhelpful. Let's run in here, get the item, super quickly. Okay, right, and now let's try and fight the thing. Oh, it didn't go very well. Okay, now the fight back begins. I can, uh can theoretically summon a, summon the Mimic, which would be helpful, but uh, at the same time, no, don't you do it, don't you do it, I hate fighting these things so much, they just tear through your stamina as you're going, and like, you always feel like you need to have your shield up, and it's just a mess, but there we go, look, look at the, look at the increased damage, no, no, oh, you nearly had me inside your death oven, but no, no, we managed to evade and overcome. Good. Oh no, but I should have kept it alive to break apart this thing. Dang. 
Well, now I need it alive again. <laughs> I wish I hadn't killed it now. Uh, okay. Okay. Hello, Ellen, in the chat. Right. Um, we're short on time, so I'm probably not going to... If I die, then fair enough. We can sort of come back and try, try that again. But I am on a bit of a mission. To get new to get new weapons to audition. Uh, first off, plump sort. Is that a reference to how I don't fit? Potentially. Oh, what? Okay. Now these exploding balls are a thing. Fine. Fine and good. Uh, Alright. Oh, no! Gosh. Gosh, there's another one. They've got little eyes! Oh, my God! And they hit so hard, I didn't even see that one up there. I accidentally used the wrong flask there. Alright, come on. Come to life. No one's impressed. Secret path? No secret path. I bet this message says there is one, though. Oh, no, it says no message. Well, that's helpful. Thank you. Old Fang. <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. One more. Yeah, but now who's now who I'm I'm loading up on ruin fragments, so who's winning? Oh no 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 <laughs> Should have checked that message first. Okay, good. Hidden 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 path. T rific. Tree rific. Here. want that. No! Oh, my God, this happens all the time. Okay. One sec. I'm not going to... I'm not going to talk and try and be... Oh, no. The parental control information. We haven't acquired it. Offline mode. I don't want offline mode because I'm in a cave where I need people to tell me where the hidden parts are. Come on, let me on. Let me on, let me on, let me on, let me on. Let me on, let me on, let me on, let me on. Okay, I think we're probably going to have to do this offline We're still online, right? Yeah, we're still good. Oh man, I'll tell you what though. Okay, let's find we can figure it out offline. I'll tell you what, I didn't realise that I was keying out quite so aggressively. How long has that been going on? The whole stream probably? Let's just crank up the... Whoa. There we go. Sorry about that. Right. Where was I? Grabbing myself some smithing stones. Yep. Reckon I can make that jump. <laughs> just, 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 just. Uh, okay. Where's safe to jump? Down to? Maybe down that way? Maybe down? Oh, hang on. Probably onto this. There we go. Good. Oh, man. If there's a boss fight at the end of this... 
I really hope there's a stake of America or something because I do not want to have to run through all that again. This is a this was a really fun. Uh, I thought this dungeon would be like done by now. This has been a really fun one to do on stream. Actually, I was lucky. Uh, okay, this is okay. This has got to be welcome to Boss Town population. You right? Um, I'm gonna secret parts. No, maybe not. I'm going to pop the mimic as soon as I can, just to. Oh, it's the it's the Onyx Lord. Okay, all right. Okay, don't worry about this fight because you know this guy, this fella looks tough. But the mimic, the mimic will get him. Also, look at that. Oh, gravity magic, is it? Well, I am a, something of a something of a sorcerer myself. I mean, look, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, what what do you what do you say? Boss melted. Oh no! Oh, there you go again. The mimic with the kill steal. <laughs> Never mind. We got it. The Onyx Lord's greatsword. That was straightforward. Um, but that's good because I wanted that greatsword. Let's have a look at it because this I can't wield it. I can't wield it. I don't have the stats. However, however, we can assess it aesthetically, and that is so important. Okay, here it is. Here it is. That's interesting. Look, there you can see it's got the magic damage built in. It's very curvy. Onyx Lord's repulsion. Sends enemies flying away and deals damage. Uh, I'm not hating it, but I'm also not loving this like bulbous bit. Just above the handle. Mm. It's not too slow, though. If I had more, if I had more strength, then that would be doing a cool gravity well. But uh, what's out here? Oh, it's the area's divine tower. Okay, cool. I'm not going in here. I'll just uh. Pop the thing. Uh, oh, if you two-hand it, says Riley Cook, you should be able to wield it properly. Hey! Riley Cook, amazing suggestion. Great, right, well, we've got ten minutes left, which is perfect, because now all the weapons we've assembled, um, we can go use them to absolutely horribly brutalise uh, some of the first enemies in the game. A real treat. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hey! Remember me, everyone. Sound the horn. Ray Sunshine is here. Where's the one with the horn? There you go. Everyone! Everyone come and attack Ray Sunshine. Let's all get close to him. I'm sure he doesn't have any gravity magic up his sleeve. Well, joke's on you folks. Oh no, they interrupted my gravity magic. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Let's try and use that right in the middle of them if I if if I can. Ugh, keeps getting interrupted. Need more poise. Stop it. Be gravity magic. Here we go. Oh, damn it! I was like a fraction of a second away from the send. <laughs> I wish I wish I could show this scene to myself when I just started playing the game. And Oh my god! Right, okay, come on. All of you get... Get gravitied. Okay, well this is a point against this weapon. What are we thinking, folks? It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Don't pay too much attention to, like, 
the damage or whatever. That's not really what we're evaluating here. Oh, that's cool. That that kind of um, rolling light attack. Yeah, that's good. For getting around shields as well. We're not really evaluating the damage. It's about, like, feel and whether it looks cool uh, and feels awesome. And I'm going to give the Onyx Lord Greatsword a B+. Plus. Oh, out of magic. Well done, mate. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be the real Elden Ring. Okay, fine. Let's try the next one. B plus for the Onyx. Ellen in the chat says, "Looks frustrating." Yeah. Uh, Nathaniel Richter says, "Looks like a cool weapon, but I don't think your build has the poise." Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Folks. 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 Hey. Hey, sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. Get everyone get everyone here. I'm calling a meeting. Yeah, that's right. Get the whole gang. Hello everyone. Um hi, Ray Sunshine here. I'm just calling a meeting. If everyone could follow me to the breakout area. Uh, yeah, I just have something I want to discuss with all of you very briefly, and that is that I am now a bleating lightning sheep. Uh, if you could just make a note of that. <laughs> you could just... <laughs> if you could just... Make sure that, like, <laughs> you have made a note. Um... <laughs> is that, I really I really hope that I really hope that bleat is coming through. This is it folks. The weapon of weapon of choice. <laughs> the most lethal build. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Blair. <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. <laughs> now I will do. Um, D.W. McGrawl says, Dune voice, sheep power. <laughs> On Arrakis we have ruled <laughs> by air and sea. <laughs> <laughs> no one, Caladan even, whatever, it doesn't matter. On Arrakis we must rule with sheep power. Have an icicle! Bing! Okay, well the icicle didn't get through your shield, but this will. That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun and funny. Alright, everyone. Everyone. You. Get the gang. Get the gang. The reason I'm doing this is because I need to... I'm sort of stress testing these weapons in a safe environment. And this is actually the perfect spot, right? Because there's a lot of enemies. All these weapons are unupgraded. Um, but, like, I need a weapon that can, that can take care of me when things do get spicy. That little icicle that it's firing is cool. It's not help. It's not actually helping me much against against this shielded enemy. Even though that is literally what this is supposed to do. On guard. That's cool though. I like the I like the jumping heavy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is really reminding me of the S dock, which was my starting weapon, and I did ditch it. Yeah, Hungard, how about you? Um, but you know, but I'm glad I picked it up. It's cool. The way it shoots and the animation, where like, oh wow, okay, all right. 
r ranking you see. <laughs> so far we have S tier rolling ram. I was killed by like the trash enemies at the start of the game. So for embarrassing me on a live stream, Frozen Needle, I'm afraid I have to give you my lowest score ever, seven thumbs up. Uh, right, next, let's try the Wing of Astol. Um, probably the one about which I am most optimistic. Because it's got that big gravity attack. Get the gang! I've seen Ray Sunshine. He's just here. Everyone attack him at once. Okay, folks, here we go. Just get everyone nice and grouped together. Hello. There we go. There we go. It's nice, to, it's nice to see you all looking so hale and healthy. How about this? Cool. You see there was a lot of staggering going on on, it, on there. You could hear it. That's good. I mean, it's, not, it's not staggering the king, but it is completely upgraded, so you know. You can hear you hear it sort of bouncing off the shield, couldn't you? It's quick. I like the purple that comes out. That's good. It's cool. There's a kind of nice sense of oh, recharge. There's a, there's a real pleasing sense of um, chaos, I would say, from the. Um, from using that purple on like big groups. Yeah, yeah it's two hand it. It's two hand it. Yeah, let's try 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 this a bit. That's cool. Kind of double slice. Yeah, it's got it, it doesn't sort of propel you for, propel you forward very far. So you've got to be quite close in. I don't think it would do me much good against like a crucible knight, but Yeah. I like it. I like it. Let's just try the. Uh... Wow, that's cool. Good spin. Yep. I'm giving it rank A. Jeff L says, sorry for being late to the stream, but have you tried the Ucha Katana with any cold-based Ash of War? It adds intelligence scaling and you get frost and bleed build up on enemies. Mm, frost and bleed and magic. Have I even picked, even picked up the Ucha Katana? No, I've got the Serpent Bone Blade. No, these are my only... Well, let's try the, Me let's try the Meteoric Ore Blade next. Did I? Oh, I forgot to rest. I was like, why are they all dead? Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Sound the alarm! There may be one or more ray sunshines in the area. There we go. Everybody fight me at once. Now, what was the skill on this one? It was... Uh... Oh yeah, this one. Pull them in, deal, deal the damage. Why would I want the enemies closer to me, though, is my own thing. <laughs> we were sort of trading um, thingies there. It takes quite a long time to get your. Um... Oh, that's cool. The he sort of two handed heavy attack, kind of sort of overhead. Bonk! That's fun. I bet that's doing a lot of. I bet that's doing a lot of hurt. Stop breaking your shield, though. I don't know that the, I don't know that this gravity is really like it's doing that AOE, but like it's not it's not 
hurting him at all. Sort of tripped, tripping him a little bit, but I don't know. Oh, we got a wolf. What will it do to a wolf? Didn't even get the wolf in range there. Um, the skill is not charming me much, I've got to say. Yikes. You win this round, sir. Uh, okay. B plus. B plus. Oh, we missed, we missed a few. You know what? I mean, you know what we should also try? Is dual wielding the two katanas. Right? It's only fair that we try that. Arcelor says, I imagine Gravitas is more for flyers and ranged enemies. I guess, but like, look, you can see the range. You still got to get pretty close to something. Um, how about this? There we go. Oh, yeah. Cool. Cool. Alright, uh, let's try the... That doesn't actually help us much. Let, but let's try the Bastard Stars. Out. Hey! Yeah, see, you get your horn. You let you tell the gang that you tell the gang. Now, this one is the same gravity magic in principle as the Astel's wing, but it's got a slower wind up, so I'll be interested to see if it does, you know, if it sort of hits harder. Whoop. Again, like, ah, oh, that wind up. Interrupted. Cool, though. I think that was more powerful. That's pretty dope. And, like, it is, it's, it's like, hurting everyone as well, like, who's in the way, which I didn't feel like the... I didn't feel like that was happening with the, um... Let's try just some regular attacks. It's okay. Maybe a little bit slower than the katanas. Ah, oh, evaded me. Look <laughs> that range. Like I really thought that would connect. Bonk. Ah, that is cool. That is fundamentally cool. Mm, that would look and look, it it it's, it actually hits hurts the enemy. With the we you know with the first swing. So that's cool. Oh, it's tough, folks. It is. It's tough. Uh, let's just have another go. Oh, I've, I've run over slightly. I'm supposed to stop at six. But let's... um. Someone in the chat said dodge into into the into the skill. Yeah. It's cool. And it does look like a little planet. <laughs> you know what you know. It's cute. Uh mm. 
Um, well, folks, I feel like I picked up and tested a whole load of weapons, but I'm none the what? But I'm none the wiser. We can tear through all these folks with Moonveil, but like, it's it's leveled up, don't forget. So like, it doesn't it means very little. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, a ray sunshine was there. Well, I tell you what we can. It's just so quick to get out as well, like 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 I mean, start the clock. Here we go. 3 2 1. You know, compared to the wind-up on all the others. It's just so good. And I'm not talking about the damage, because again, it's upgraded and these are scrubs. But, the speed, the speed of that skill is very good. So even if they have nerfed its poise damage, I'm not sure. So quick. And, and look at that. He, his 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 attack animation was well underway. Food for thought. Let's do one more with the uh, Dark Moon Greatsword. Uh, what was I doing? Nothing. Right, there uh, we go. Um, da, 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 da. Where are you? Where are you, big fella? Oh, yeah. It looks awesome. It is. I, I was genuinely a bit gutted to, to get this sword and find that for me personally, it didn't sort of have the right feel because like just look at it it's got like it's threaded through with frost it's so beautiful and that's before you you know start to count its significance to the series okay what i want to pay what i want everyone to pay attention to in this one in this run is that is the speed of that beam attack and in particular whether it ever misses, like whether the tracking ever goes wrong, you know, because that's what I have found happen a lot, basically, is that like... Ooh, <laughs> touche. Wow, he keeps pushing and knocking me over. He's the strongest. And that really should have through his shield, I think. At, you know... Mm. Oh. Also, you have to keep charging it up. Look at that. Like, did you see that? I was, lo I was locked onto him. I know that did hit, but it, like, really nearly went over the top of his head. Again, you can see like it feels like it's nearly missing. I don't think I'm imagining it. Because again, I have been like fighting with this thing. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I mean that's my that's my that's my go-to with the claymore is a kind of dodge into that light attack, which is really quick. For a greatsword, it's so useful. But you just don't get the range on yeah, like that. You, but it just isn't doesn't reach as far as old clay face. So it's tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky. I think what I'll do is upgrade Astel's wing a little bit because it was definitely my second favorite choice. Uh, and just keep it in the running. But I think it's between Astol's Wing or sticking with Moonvale, to be honest. 
And again, I am having a little bit of a problem with the fact that Astil's wing is literally an insect wing, which sometimes, sometimes creeps me out a little bit. I mean, doesn't look very strong, does it? I tell you what, let's give it, let's give it one more go against your old mate. Hey, pal. Rrr. Follow me. Follow me. Out of the gates. <laughs> I keep falling over. Follow me out of the gates. To a land. To a land of incredible opportunity. Okay, here we go. Nice test this against an enemy that I've fought many times. Really have the measure of. go. Cool. It did stagger him. Which is neat. Which is nice. Two hand it. Now comes the sword. Do, 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 do. This is more, to be honest, the use case for this weapon. That was cool. Cool. Alright, thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate you joining me as I literally just pootle around uh, trying out different weapons. Trying to refine the old build. Um, uh, yeah, this was a great time. I'm having so much fun with Elden Ring. As I think you can tell, I've been playing, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm making quite slow progress through the story because, you know, I just keep just keep getting distracted with this sort of fun sorts of stuff um all right but thank you very much for watching and for tuning in this was a good time don't forget if you want to have your very own um uh sort of spot to hang out aside from the youtube live chat you can become a member of the ox supporters club by going to patreon.com slash ox club and um, uh, and having a look, because there's a live stream hangout channel on the Discord that you will get access to. So you see, you know, I'm looking at the chat there. Um, they're talking about the mimic. Uh, just before we finish, I really, really think I probably should just fight this thing one more time and see if I can kill it rolling around like an electric hedgehog. I know you're going to say, Luke, get off the airwaves. You can... We're done. The stream is done. I really just... Come on. Come out. Come out. I really just think it might be worth... Hey, buddy. Hey, ma'am. Okay. How do you feel about this? Yeah. <laughs> Go and get your sword out. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We're going to have you. There you go. There you go. The astonishing electric damage. The clown is very much down. They can't handle it. They cannot handle it. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, see you next time. Stay safe out there. Bye.